see if I can hold this camera somewhat steady. Came over here to try to fix my brother's bell or I do all their electrical. He's in a hurry to get this field done. It's taking him longer. And it's actually getting ready to go in the case, so he's trying to get it done. Um, new accumulators they switched to compared to any of the videos I did last year. I want to say these are 18 bell is what he went with here. It could be 16. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, 16. And it really is just an amazing piece of artwork. Let's see if we can catch it here until it dumps. I tell you, technology's come a long way. I can't see anything. It's right in my eyeballs. No touch. But uh, this is a Massey Beller, the Nordine uh, accumulator, and a Massey 1840. It's a little darn near 1620 But that, uh, that Massey's got a blower on it. It sucks and blows. It's would be great for a relationship anyways it uh it's not sucking or blowing which means the nodders it, it's get gets a built up of hay dust on it and they want to not act right a blower is important but even though he's in a hurry i tried to get over here and just to see if it was something simple which it's not so i'm gonna have to do some troubleshooting on it it's definitely that time of year hay season times here I think he cranks out 75 to 80,000 bells a year. Not all off of, you know, this farm. He does some custom work. You know, there's... I actually just had... Let me see. I'm going to set you here. I have a little story time. If I can... I need to get... Hold, why is this not sitting here? Well, I'll be dipped. Fight script garage. Man, I got to get a windshield mount or something for that. It's ridiculously difficult fighting with that. Coming around here, it makes me think. Right here in front of the truck, a um, friend of mine, Gary Newman, we had a bus accident, and this is where it parked and sat here for, well, it sat here for a winter. But they were actually in town and I just got done having dinner with them before I came out here to help my brother. You know, it's, I really appreciate it, you know. I wish Gary and I had become better friends, or, you know, had become friends under better circumstances. And he's actually the reason I sold my bus, you know. It just, it, it tore up my heart. You know, you spend years building those things, and just seeing, you know, one of your friends that had one that, you know, got tore up, and... It just sucks, and I didn't want to go through that. And that was one of the reasons I got rid of mine. But, you know, we, we've... That was three years ago, and, you know, we talk on a regular basis now, and it's great, you know. He, he's a little bit older than me, but we still, you know, have the, a lot of the same thinking mentality over a bunch of stuff. And we like piddling with crap like the buses and, you know, solar and this right here. You know, it's funny how time changes people. I've gotten away from RVs and he has gotten into a bigger RV. Uh, G.R. Newman is, I believe is his YouTube channel. Um, he's kind of slowed down because he's not doing much, but, look, but you know, he's, he's full time in it right now. And, but he's, he's got some good builds. You should go check him out. You know, him building that MC5. Um, I think there's some videos with my MC9 in there. Hey, there's a semi truck. But, you know, it was just a really nice dinner. Spent a couple hours at the cattle. Oh, why is this phone having such difficulties? Whew. Like I say, it's set here. I think there was a bunch of trees right there. And, you know, it was just good hanging out with him today. I really enjoyed talking to him and, you know, spending some time with him. And 
his uh, girlfriend was with him. So, anyways, I'm going to head to the house. My belly's full. I'm hot and sweaty from being out here looking at that hay beller. Here's another field he's got done. But, as always, you guys be good and be safe, and we'll catch you next time.